Camelot is once more a castle in northern France. And while its fairy tale appearance may look computer generated, it's actually real. The castle is like the seventh cast member. You know, it's such a huge part of everything that we do, and it, it does so much of our work for us because. You know, when you see it, you don't have to imagine it. It's there. Well, all the time that filming's going on, the Pierre Font Castle here remains open to the public. So visitors are getting a, a real close-up glimpse of how a major television production is made and how history is being brought to life. I have never had a bad experience with somebody coming. I've only ever been very nice, very sweet, very respectful. So you should know the powers of Grant. <laughs> For the first time, it's shot on... 35 millimeter film so it has that movie feel and the one difference that really hits you between the eyes is that Merlin has got darker the darkest hour is just before the door yes you might find yourself hiding behind the sofa far more this time I always like them to sort of push the darkness as much as possible. Um, it's kind of exciting for us, sort of as actors, to play the sort of darker bits. And the comedy is also obviously very important. But um, yeah, each, se each season they seem to sort of push the darkness, which I like. The other main location is a forest near Cardiff. And as life becomes more unsettled for Arthur and Merlin, they've at last got the Knights of Camelot around them in this series. Arthur's uncle also arrives on the scene, while Lancelot makes a return to the team. Well, it's a collaborative uh, business and uh, kind of experience, and I think it's really important that everyone's on the same page and understands the scenes, and, and you kind of get better at it because the characters, you know, you see, this is how we, uh, <laughs> how we, we get along. These days, is yeah, <laughs> we have to deal with. Uh, and it gets uh, better, and that's you, you just kind of learn yeah. more about these characters as you come along. So you come back for a fourth season and you know them, you know, so it's more ingrained in you. They may have evolved as a team over the last four years, but away from Merlin, who would they pick to be at their round table? Probably have Bill Murray, because he's hilarious. You have to have Meryl Streep and Judi Dench. Always have to have them. Tilla the Hun, Catherine the Great, Cleopatra, Mark Anthony and Caesar, because I want to see what they talk about about Cleopatra. Mike Bushell, BBC News in Camelot.